the niece of the late George Floyd has been shot. And the father is saying it was a targeted attack. Let me give you some background to this very sad story. Let's put up a picture of this beautiful, beautiful princess. Her name is Ariana Delaney, okay? George Floyd's four year old great niece, Ariana Delaney was shot at night while she was sleeping in what her father claimed was a targeted attack, okay? The father was saying this was a targeted attack. Ariana was one of the two children and four adults who were sleeping inside of the second floor of their South Houston, Texas apartment when a shooter opened fire around 3 a.m. on New Year's Day. Ariana was sleeping in the front bedroom when gunfire broke out. She survived the attack and is recovering after an emergency surgery for a punctured lung and liver. She also suffered three broken ribs. She's in a lot of pain right now. My daughter jumped up and said, Daddy, I've been hit. Imagine a four year old child having to say that, even knowing what that phrase means. A four year old little girl gets up and says, Daddy, I've been hit. And I was shocked until I seen the blood and realized my four year old daughter was really hit. Ariana's father, Derek Delaney, told ABC 13 Houston. Let's put up another picture of this princess, okay? Now there's another element to this story that is profound and sickening. Mr. Delaney, okay, the father is claiming that it was a targeted shooting, but did not elaborate. Why would my house get shot up? He said, my daughter doesn't know. I can't explain that to her. As the father, you're supposed to protect the kids. The family has accused the police of a delayed response and said officials did not arrive until after 7 a.m. Now, wait a minute, what time did this happen? 3 a.m. What time did the officials arrive? After 7 a.m. Okay, it gets deeper. This delayed response, I mean, this is basically a non response. 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. This so called delayed response is so egregious that it is now being investigated by the Houston police. Houston's police chief, Troy Finner, said in a statement that an internal affairs investigation has been launched. This is quick. This is a fast acknowledgement of an internal investigation. They say an internal investigation has been launched into the late response. There is no debate, not even from the police chief, that this response was not appropriate. The chief said, and I quote, I am aware and have concerns regarding the delayed response time in this incident and have initiated an internal affairs investigation. Now here's the other part of this narrative. So you have what the father is claiming to be a targeted attack. You have an extreme delay in response from 3 a.m. until after 7 a.m. the police get there. And Adriana in particular and her family were active in support of Black Lives Matter and the murder of Mr. George Floyd, the uncle. Adriana accompanied her family members to several Black Lives Matter protests following the killing of her uncle, George Floyd. 100% unacceptable, unacceptable. There's a ruling by the US Supreme Court that basically says cops do not have the responsibility to protect individuals. It's basically what it says. In this situation, not only does it seem ironic that this family had bullets go through their home, the response 
of a delay, extreme delay by police compounds it. Attorney, what are your thoughts on this one? It's tragic. I mean, the fact that this poor four year old was shot like that and thank goodness she survived. It does sound like it's targeted and it's also very alarming the delayed response. I imagine the paramedics came earlier or maybe they drove her to the hospital. But the fact that the police didn't initiate invest, I mean, four hours is a long time to, you know, to wait to collect evidence. Yeah. Thank goodness they did this internal investigation soon. You know, that's what I feel like we've been advocating a lot on this show is like mm-hmm. self policing the police. So good for them for doing that. And is this an example of the fact that the police knew this was George Floyd's family and kind of was contributing to this target? Or is this discrimination? And is this how the police treat, um, you know, maybe black families in the area? I don't know, but whatever it is, I hope they get to the bottom of this because there probably is inequity even in how police respond, maybe to calls, 911 calls. Perhaps they do it in a discriminatory way, and, and maybe they will find out with this. Very well said.